we're going to start a new series. We're going to look at platform game example. Such a game will have a jumping character and a horizontal motion uh, scrolling room. And let's start looking at what we need to do to set that up. Okay. Uh, first, we're just going to create a sprite. Zoom in. Uh, make a stick man or whatever you want. Fill it with white. And um, you can use these to move it up and down and left and right if you don't like the positioning. Okay. We're not animating it yet. We just need to get going, so let's just leave it that yeah. way. Make it transparent and going to add the object. The object is the sprite. In this case, it's not an animation, but we'll do that later. Yeah. Okay. Add event. Keyboard left. We're going to check if it's free. Negative four. You know that from the last time. Relative. Then jump to position. Negative four. Make it relative. Duplicate the event for right. And just change this. Four. Change this so it works for right. Yeah. Okay. So that's only going to be for left and right, not up and down yet. Okay. Because it's a platformer and it's going to have gravity instead of moving up and down freely. And jumping. Yeah. So we're going to do gravity um, step event and check if it's free once again this time we're going to do y1 relative yep that checks if it's one pixel down it's free that basically means if he's in the air then set the gravity okay uh, direction 270 that's down don't ask me why it just is um, gravity to 0 0.5. This is how much. It's an okay setting. Yeah, that's what I usually use. And okay, now else it's in the control tab. That means if he's on the ground, that actually depends on what the first condition was. Right. If it does not meet that condition, then what's after the else? is applied. Okay. So for that we're going to set the gravity to zero and direction to 270. So we don't change the direction but we do change the amount of gravity. Yeah. Now we're going to limit the speed. So if go to the control tab if a variable the variable is V speed, that's a built in variable. Okay, vertical speed. Yeah. So if it's larger than 12, um, larger than 12. Right, he's going too fast. Then we're going to make the V speed 12. Okay, so no faster than that. Yeah. So then we're going to make a room. Put him somewhere in it. Sure. And if we play it right now, he's gonna fall. He's falling right mm -hmm. down. Fell right through. Okay. Yeah. So we'll close the game. And so to prevent him from falling. To prevent him from falling, we're gonna make another sprite. I'm just gonna go really fast here because you know what to do. You just need a wall thing, right? Yep. Okay. And then make an object solid. That's that wall thing. And in the room. In the room. Put a floor. And, and put some platforms. Do we want to put them on a platform, or do we want to just watch them fall? Yep. Uh, he'll fall and then land on the platform. Okay. In this case, it's going to be the floor. Yeah. Okay. So now, if you play it. Oh, what happened? He fell all the way through? Let's see what happened. 
Okay. Now, that's because we didn't do the collision event with the floor. Okay. This is from our maze tutorials again. So now we're going to set the vertical. If the V speed okay. is greater than zero, um, if you falling, then this is a collision. So if there's a collision and he's falling, and so he hits yep. the the platform, he's going to move to contact direction. Um, in direction 270. So don't change it. Yeah. And maximum 12, because that's the maximum speed that he's going to go against solid objects. Okay. Um, the first thing we're going to do is set the V speed to zero. Okay, so stop. Yeah. And then if he's going down, because if he hits the ceiling and that happens, then he's going to go straight to the floor. Okay. So, how is he going to hit the ceiling? If he jumps. Right. And so jumps that high. Yeah. So we're going to add an event and key press. Yeah. Um, up. That's going to be the jump key. Okay. So we're going to check if we're standing. That's Y1. Object only solid. And it's relative. Actually, we're going to check if it's not empty. So if there is something at one pixel below us. Yes. Then... Set the vertical speed to negative um, 10. That's pretty high. What will that do? That will make him go... Uh, the speed will be negative 10, which will make him go 10 pixels up. And then the gravity takes over from there. Okay, so that will give us the illusion of jumping. Yep. Okay. So let's just test if that works. So start play it. He's going to fall. And he mm -hmm. fell and didn't fall through. And if we press the up key, he jumps. Jumps. We're trying to get him up on there. And now, do you know why he lands like that on his head? No. This is, um... Is, um, it a, is it a property of the sprite that we need to change? Yep, yeah, it's the sprite because this is, if we put it on the grid, yes. this is one pixel more to the right yes. than his arm. Okay. <laughs> so he lands on this, he basically yeah. hangs from his cheek. That happens in a lot of old video games too, that the, the yeah. spriting did that. Okay. So, to fix that, we're going to right-click this, duplicate, and then uh, get rid of the grid. Um, go to the rectangle tool, yep. select uh, this kind of fill, yep. and basically eliminate it. Oh. So, this is good enough, and then we're going to... Um, just make it a rectangle. Okay? Okay. And then you go to the player object and you set the mask to the sprite 2 that you just made. Alright, and the mask is how it actually uh, is perceived in the game engine. Yep. Yeah. So he actually doesn't jump up to there, so we'll make a little step here. Okay. And if we test that, Go down, and we can jump up onto here, and he doesn't land by his cheek. <laughs> Very nice. There's some decent motion, so. And he still can't get up there. So, yeah. 